Lick number 20, Crazy Eights. Again, this one comes from Wes Montgomery, and it employs his signature style of using octaves to solo. The solo here is using octaves over a static minor 7 chord, but we also get into using them over two five ones that descend. Check it out. So one of the things about Wes Montgomery's playing that's very much part of the sound is the use of octaves. As you may or may not know, Wes didn't play with a pick. He played with his thumb. So playing the octaves with his thumb gets this nice, soft, percussive quality. So this is a part of a solo based out of octaves. And he does this kind of repetitive figure, which was a big part of how he played octaves and lots of different things to create tension through the rhythm. So it's basically based on this uh, three eighth note triplet and followed by a quarter note pattern. We start here in fifth position, playing the D, and then go up to the G. Then he goes up to E, up to A. And he re basically repeats that whole figure throughout the whole G minor seven chord. When he gets ready to approach the C minor 7 chord, he goes E flat up to a D, a major 7th, back down to the E flat, down up to C, which is a major 6th, and he basically keeps that sort of same kind of intervallic pattern happening throughout. Major 7th, up to the major 6th, off of a C, major 7th, major 6th, and then he ends this with an arpeggio. Getting all the notes of the chord. So, here's the lick played slowly. One, two, three. Getting this octave technique down takes time, and you'll spend a lot of time trying to get the octaves to sound clearly and evenly, and then trying to get some melodic content. But this is a nice one to start with because there's a lot here that you can use in a lot of different applications. So get it down. It's also really fun to play. And see how you can take this into some other keys and how you can extract different ideas from it. And when you're ready, we'll take a look at another West Montgomery lick in the next video.